In this video, I will show you how to write a multi-threaded program to do matrix multiplication. We use a thread to calculate the dot product of two vectors. To multiply an n by k matrix A to a k by m matrix B to form a third matrix C, we calculate each element C at position ij by this formula. Cij, which is the ij element of C, is given by sum from r equals 1 to k aiR times blj. aiR is the ir element of A, and blj is the rj element of B. Yeah. So that means the element ij of C is the dot product of row vector i of A and the column vector j of b. So cij is equal to ai dot bj. And to do this, we will need n times m threads to uh, perform the calculation. Each thread calculates a dot product ai dot bj. Now this is an example illustrating how matrix multiplication is done. So we have this uh, row vector of A uh, dot this column vector of B to give uh, this element of C. Uh, and so this row vector uh, of A dot with this column vector of B gives us uh, this element of C. So this is the third row and uh, third column. So this is the third row, third column element of C. So in general, if A is n by k and B is k by m, then C will be n by m. Here's how we do our implementation. So we declared uh, the constant n rows to be the number of rows of matrix C, the final product matrix. And n calls is the number of columns in C. And in our example, both of them are equal to 4. Okay. We declare an array of vectors that holds the row vectors of the first matrix and another array to hold the column vectors of the second matrix uh, A and B yeah. and C is our final matrix uh, it has n rows and n columns uh, so this is our thread dot product so we pass in the data data from the main program and uh, we extract the value i and j from data using s scan f so ij is the uh, row i of a and column j of b so this is to calculate the dot product basically we sum over uh, the product of the elements uh, rho ik times uh, co jk okay sum over k yeah. and so the ij element of c is equal to sum okay, so that, that's it it's very simple the dot product print mat is just to print out uh, a matrix now here's the main so here's an example of our a and b matrices so m1 is our a uh, m1 is uh, 4 by 3 and m2 is 3 by 4 uh, in this example so the product will be a 4 by 4. So we save all the elements of 
rho i into this vector rho i. Yeah, using the function push back, we push uh, all the elements in that row into uh, uh, this vector. Okay. Similarly, we push uh, the column, JF column of the second matrix into uh, uh, this vector code, code J. Okay. And then uh, we have a buffer and we the buffer we use as print F okay, to uh, uh, pass the information IJ okay, to uh, the fret. Okay. So IJ will be printed to buffer and then in the uh, fret we use as scan F to extract it. Okay. And then SDL create fret is to create a fret. Uh, the buffer is the data to pass in, basically it contains the information of IJ. Okay. The dot product is the name of the thread. Okay. If some thread, the returned ID is not new, that means uh, it's successful, then the parent will wait for all the thread. So we create uh, basically n rows times n codes uh, number of threads. So when this is done, okay, then the, the products will be saved in CIJ. Okay. So that's our final matrix. And then we uh, print out the matrices. Okay. So we can compile this G plus plus minus O mo and the source we have to link that with the SDL library so it compiles so now we execute it and so this is the matrix A and this is the matrix B and this is the product C so this is uh, 4 by 3 this is 3 by 4 and this is 4 by 4 and the results are correct. Okay. So we can uh, try that with other data and experiment uh, with uh, this program. Okay. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.